podcast with me. And me. <laughs> that sounds unusually cheery. I know, I don't know what happened. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm drugs from the hospital again. <laughs> system. Legal, I hasten legal, to add. Yeah, um, all legal treatment, don't worry. Yes, for those that are new people, we've had quite a few new people recently, um, yeah, you might recognise me from the uh, Undateables. Yeah. <laughs> Again, like last week, not saying that I am undateable, but um, yeah, you might have seen me from that. Obviously, I do... Uh, Fresh from your TV appearance. That's how you sum it up. Yeah, I suppose. Um, from Obviously, I do these podcasts every other week on a Tuesday. With if you me. wish, yeah, with you, if you uh, wish to tune in. Mm. Um, we have lots of different ones from the past as well. Yeah. And I also do short films and all these other stuff, so check it out and see what you think. Moving on with uh, this week's topics. Yeah. If you remember last time, um, we were looking at uh, like people that like that fell in love with like fairground rides. Yeah, and, that was weird. Yeah, and your personal favourite as well as mine. Um, favourite. Yeah, my personal favourite was the man that loved the uh, older lady. No, 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 no. And no, they no, weren't no, ripe no, enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> me induced vomiting. Well, there's a man. Oh, there's a man that's on the other end of the scale, though. Unfortunately. Um, he is the. Have you ever seen the film Forty Year Old Virgin? No. Well, obviously that's about a man that is still a virgin at forty years old. Oh, that's his fault. Um, I go right but that hand. that's in the film. Right. Um, but <laughs> that's when he got a right hand. <laughs> Terrible. Right and left hand. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. well, we're gonna we're gonna see now the uh, the real life forty year old virgin. It's likely to lose his virginity in this, is it? I bloody hope yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, here we are with a live feed. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, um, yeah, he's the uh, real life 40 year old virgin. Is he just making it up or is this. No, bad? this is genuine. Um, well, I can't test him, can they? What do you mean? Oh, well, I suppose it's not like a lady, is it? Yeah. Well, well, bloody hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he Even is. Back out, he's a virgin and he ain't. No, I believe that he. Well, even though he's like terrible with women, um, I believe that there's something to do with his religion, which means that even if um, he was with somebody, he would oh, not. Monk? No, no, that, <laughs> that he wouldn't until like marriage or something. But um, he's horrendous with women, so he can't even get to that point, which is really unfortunate. Poor old Skippy the Virgin. Skippy? <laughs> yeah, his nickname is Skippy. Um, that might be a clue to why it's unsuccessful. Kangaroo there. Yeah. Fucking all us on the jailway. Yeah, yeah. Skippy yeah. the Virgin. Um, he, yeah, yeah he uh, has tried various different ways to meet young ladies. Well, maybe um, that programme you went on. Yeah, exactly. I think he'd be a prime candidate for the undateables. Um, but... Um, they uh, they followed him round for a couple of days. This um, I think TV like show. Go too busy if he's got bloody load of folks with cameras following him. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they they did it just to like follow this guy's life, but they followed yeah. him round to see why he was a bit undateable. That's probably just a pile of crap that's no good with women. That's nice, isn't that analysis? You're a pile of crap. Well, you never know. They probably what can... no personality, no... Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Poor old Skippy, he has bags of personality. Well, they ought to be um, women, then. They ought to be... Blessed, but... Even if they're just mothering. But um, oh. you'll find that as it goes on, things get a bit weirder. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 As usual. Um, oh, so crap. let's check it out and uh, in a minute, then. and see what Skippy the Virgin is up yeah, to. <laughs> bleeps. I want a girl to be like, wait, you're sing How are you still single? No, he's 34. Oh. But this was done a few years ago, so he's nearly 40. He lives in his mom's basement. Hey, mom. The ideal girl isn't thinking that her ideal guy still lives at home in mom's t-shirt. Mom! Coming! But I don't want to be a bad mom. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 Oh,
Would you like to know how badly I want to have sex with a girl? It's all I've been able to think about all last night. I just like sit there with girls sometimes on dates like, you're the cutest, you're the sweetest, you're the best. Let's cuddle, you wanna cuddle? Not sure if you wanna go on a date with me? Well, would a t-shirt change your mind? I made out with Skippy this for three minutes. This guy is brilliant at merchandising. Um, he has Damn. even his own range of t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, when he goes on a date um, uh, to try and encourage his dates to kiss him or engage with him in any way, oh, he offers them. He says, "If you if you kiss me, you'll get a free T-shirt." Hey, <laughs> it's like like a like a dating version of Bullseye. <laughs> this is what you could win. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. Went the old way with him. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a lifetime subscription to Skippy's shirts. <laughs> you get a free one each month. <laughs> a better place, put a kiss on Skippy's face. You may be thirsty for some Skippy. Got Skippy? Huh? Huh? Yeah, he's going out, yes, but. Going by. I like that one. Yes, uh, the. You've uh, seen. Maybe some people have, maybe some people have a wingman or somebody like that. You know, somebody that they go out with and hit the town with. Uh, and he Skippy, takes his mum with him. Skippy has a wing mum, and he's also taken the time to make a t-shirt oh, <laughs> for her. Know. Yeah, if, as you see there, what it's got stupid. wing mum written on it. What a cool guy! <laughs> Surefire hit with the ladies. <laughs> you are so weird. What are you doing? No, you, no, no, don't circle around me because that's gonna, no, don't, no, just walk up and be like, son, remember the girl her from advice, like no. two songs ago? She was cute. Maybe you should ask her again. Okay, my role is wing mom, and so I'll kind of keep an eye on the ladies. When I meet the girl that I fall in love with, I want her and my mom to be really good friends. Oh, here we go. In the town. There she is, Skippy and the uh, wing mum. This is going to be so cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, oh, there's a white t-shirt over there that looks like she might be good for it. Tonight could be... <laughs> what I love is that she kind of like scours around like the Terminator, just looking for people. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I imagine it's, you know, when it does the, you know, when it does the point of view shot from the Terminator, where it's got like the red thing and the lines coming. <laughs> I imagine she's just scanning through the audience like, there, there's a victim. <laughs> yeah, there she is, picking out a... Uh, Tonight could be candidate. the beginnings of my start to eternal bliss. Right here, okay. Would you like to dance? I'd love to dance. What's her name? Alexis. If you take time to get to know Skippy, you'll find you really, really like him, and hey, he might be marriageable material then. I totally forgot to put on clothes. I feel embarrassed because usually I smell really good. Thank you for the dance. Thank you. That's right. Oh, he's just, he's grabbed one. Yeah. And his first instinct, right, is to bring her over to Mom. Oh, no, for God's sake. There we go. Again, I'm really sweaty, and there's an outlet in the bathroom, so I'm going to go dry off. Yeah, yeah tonight's, all right, uh, Skippy, uh, obviously, Okay. He uh, tries to do it that way with uh, bringing the lady over to his mother straight away, but um, seems as that wasn't so successful with his mom. Surprise! Uh, um, oh, well, he's trying to uh, hit a party now with his mates. Yeah, See if he can. Some. Astoundingly, yes. <laughs> I don't know whether they all bring their moms. <laughs> guys, this is Skippy. Hi, guys. I've got so much more personality than any other guy in here. Like, it's a race whoa, for Whoa, 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 so hang on a moment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, that was a bit self-indulgent, Skippy. Oh, well, What's going on? Fucking big is right? Now, hang on a minute. He thinks that this Go might on. this might be a key. This might be a key to why he struggles to get ladies. Because, I mean, this is a vice at this point, Skip. Um... If you if you come in and say, hey, I'm the uh, life and soul of the party, mate. I'm uh, I'm sm soul. I'm smaller than all these people. I got more personality well, than all these. In the fucking mouth. Exactly. I mean, if so, if yeah, if you had if you had somebody come into a party and go, hey, I'm better than all you lot. 
<laughs> you wouldn't. That was a yeah. big fucking window. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Skippy won't be skipping much more. <laughs> the like funniest, the most creative guy just walked into the room. What's your name? I'm Stephanie. Oh, I'm Stephanie. Oh, I'm Stephanie. I'm Stephanie. <laughs> His, but mine. Skippy likes to make t-shirts. I do. Did you make I do. One? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I am, in fact, fun and single. Okay, I have other so shirts funny. too. Are you? Yes. How single are you, though? <laughs> I feel sorry for her immediately. Yeah, <laughs> Fun fact: people that wear their hats backwards. You know where it stems from. <laughs> um, apparently, uh, it comes from uh, people that used to milk cows. They put the hat backwards. So I don't know whether he milks cows for a living, maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> <You know. laughs> My answer is yes, and then you can have this awesome shirt. What, what if I kiss you on the cheeks? No, no, no. Oh, he's out uh, with the merchandise yeah. trick. It doesn't say, I kiss Skippy on the cheek. Skippy doesn't really yeah, he, listen. He's no, he no, doesn't. He wants a fucking share. Skippy don't compromise. Um, he, uh, you only get a t-shirt if you properly kiss Skippy. Not nothing on the cheek. So he's got to shed loads of shirts. You've got to, yeah. He's probably got about ten thousand shirts. <laughs> there's, there's no compromise with Skip. Um, you've got to properly kiss him. That's the only way you get in a t-shirt. <laughs> I'm glad I don't run my merchandise like that. <laughs> I don't think I'd sell any. <laughs> so I'm trying to help him to see that, you know, natural, or a little bit more casual when you're, when you're meeting girls. I, I need a girlfriend. I'm in a rut in my life where I need companionship. Uh, what Jimmy has in muscles. He sure I, hate I hate to brag, but that's kind of the case. So I'm 34 years old, I'm a virgin. And I'm awesome. I'm really awesome. And I'm a good person. And if you got to know me, you would think so too. I feel like we need to get to know each other a little better. I would love it if we got to know each other better. It was so Do you nice feel that? There was chemistry here, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I really, he just has the kindness heart. He's so sweet. Skippy has uh, found a potential target. Um, and uh, he, he's going for broke. He's, he's trying to go with the t-shirt thing, but that didn't quite work. But, astoundingly, she is still thinking, oh, well, you know, maybe he's a sweet guy at heart. Maybe he's just stupid. <laughs> under the veneer and find the real skippy. What? They are. Okay. Get under the veneer. Yeah, art is art to shell. Get right. underneath it. Yes, maybe she might think is the real skippy is the... It's fucking worse than the fucking twat I'm experiencing now. What do you mean? Well, you gave me, oh, you thick twat. He's putting on an act, isn't Oh, he? right, yes, yeah, she might, so once yeah. Once you get through the act, yeah, she might see, really yeah. Right, it might be yeah. worse. <laughs> it's fucking worse with the sound of it. The way this is going, he's going to end in tears. Good job. For me, right? For me. Woo! Oh, he's got a date with her. Oh, uh, oh his, his, his idea for a date, though, is to bring her straight to the basement. <laughs> you know, completely straight true. back, yeah, straight back to uh, Skippy's basement. We'll see how it goes. There we go, straight down. What's he in the basement for? No, that's where he lives. <laughs> Control. Tour. Okay, perfect. Welcome to my room. Here's my poster of the Osmonds, and over here is my belly button link collection. Skippy's a fan of the Osmonds. Well, it, it gets better. It gets better. That's what his date is. Pizza um, in silence. How many guys that you've gone on dates with in the last year still live at home? Oh, he's just asked her. Tell him my name's fucking business. His name's picked out? Uh, no. I've had my future kids' names picked out since I was 14. Oh, wow. Hey. Uh, Skippy has a plan for the future. Um, he has uh, all of his uh, future children's names planned out. Uh, 
So uh, I don't know whether they all plan to live in the basement together <laughs> as some kind of weird troll family. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and he's got a plan set out, you know. He's got his table, he's got some pizza, maybe four or five kids. <laughs> <You know? laughs> he's got it made. <laughs> yeah. It's always in, the- always in the back of my head. So now what? I've got um, I've got a surprise. Don't go anywhere if you want to kind of clean this <laughs> up or something like that. <laughs> what a I'll charmer! Right. Uh, he's got a surprise plan, but um, in the meantime, in the meantime, while he's uh, fetching this surprise out, he's asked her to uh, just tidy things up a bit. You know, that's what ladies do, apparently, according to Skippy. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's like it's like you're a woman, you can tidy it up. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go down well. <laughs> yeah. Mark's answering all his own questions here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. I can do that. Fucking slave, fuck off, mate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Poor bizarre. woman, she's having to like, yeah. That more fun than her, then. I know. I think she's that. just awkward. Oh, yeah, here we go. <gasps> He's got a friend. Surprise. Yeah. Surprise, can you come in and uh, share your talents with us? Oh, oh, here we go. Heavy hands on a short ground. So Can we slow down? He's doing the slow dance now. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. What a charm. I like a girl that's shorter than me. I want to be able to put my arm around her and just kind of like sway at a concert. Like to me, that's great. And to me, that's cute. And whenever I see people. Do you think I could get away with putting my arms around you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently it's cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking good for me. <laughs> Fuck it off. So, uh, I love how he just randomly brought a guy that plays a guitar into like a basement. Just walking by with a fucking guitar. Oh look, I've got fences. Just leaned out the window. Oh, hey you! Uh, yeah. Fucking woman here. Can you call us Terry Nate? No, I think I think it's I think it's his friend. But yeah, I, I've never seen a woman look so awkward in my life. Just putting a poor woman in an embarrassing I know. Position. Where do you go from there? Oh, oh here we go. Them. Straight in there. <laughs> Just man and right. I aspire to be a great big spoon. I want you by my side or in a spoon. <laughs> awesome. Oh, Skippy prepares to make his move. Yeah, I have been a minute. So, if you want to start, I'm going to have to wait. There's like one last little surprise. There's like one last surprise. Okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna fucking knob. I miss you. Before I give you this, and before I walk you to the door, I really do think that I did pretty good on this day. Right, review. Review. Uh, uh, Skippy thinks uh, that uh, he did uh, very well on his day. Very um, self, um, congrats, mm, I was going to say, he seems to. I love how he congratulates himself. It's like mm. another successful Don't date for me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? oh, yeah. I can't remember that last giving him a I wonder whether he, word of praise. Yeah. I wonder whether he gets up in the morning and goes, Ah, oh, yes, another great day for me. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go and empty my stupendous bladder. For yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks, oh, looks in. Look, <laughs> Looks in the mirror in the morning and thinks, ah, yes, yeah. I look great this morning. <laughs> this is going to be another great day for me. <laughs> Can I please just give you a kiss? And sometimes you just are horny and you just oh. want to kiss. What? <laughs> I love his commentary on that when he was uh, basically begging for a kiss. Uh, his retrospective look at it was... Uh, Sometimes when you just feel really horny, you just gotta make the move, aren't you? It's like, yeah, I'm feeling randy. Let's go for the go, go for broke. <laughs> if anybody uh, has a differing opinion on uh, Skippy's successful date, maybe comment below and let us know. Yeah. <laughs> and you want like some rough stuff, but not Bishop. Not talk to Bishop rough, but you want kind of like ah. It doesn't have to be giant, but can you can, can I give you a cheek? Does that work? Can I just can I just give you a kiss? Okay. He wants to mount. I <laughs> wanting to kiss a girl shouldn't be a shock to a cute girl. It should kind of be expected, right? 
Bit of a Weinstein here. <laughs> oh, Mum's lingering in the corner. How much more pressure can you get? <laughs> if that if that couldn't get any worse, um, he's begging for a kiss and he's actually expecting it to happen while his mum is just stood in the corner grinning Skippy is unfortunately still a virgin yeah. as I say he's yeah, now I believe wonder, is it? he's now I believe near or at 40 years old yeah, so as I say he is, he is he ain't going to get anywhere he's got totally wrong. he wants to fucking have my own to come and see me <laughs> he wants to come and see you alright well there you go Skippy that's a call out yeah. for uh, a totally bit of advice wrong. But then he does have a, another problem, which I believe could be a real issue, Skippy. Um, he, uh, in his basement, he uh, has a collection of something in particular that yeah. I think would put off every single person ever, Dis- even like men or anybody, just anyone. Um, he Corpses. No, but it's it's pretty disgusting, and he collects belly button oh, dirty hair, like, yeah, yeah, and, he yeah. it, no, no. and he puts it. And he puts it in. What in fucking hell can you collect? What does he do? Because he has a he fucking puts, mortuary. Uh, no, his own. And he puts. Hey? He, he pulls out his like fluff or whatever. Oh, he cleans it. Oh, the dirty and, cum. But. <laughs> Oh. And he and he <laughs> he puts it in a jar. Yeah, great, but we don't really want to know that. He puts it, it in a jar. Yeah, fine, fine. yeah, but maybe that might be another issue to why he he might not get a date. Fucking issues. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so yeah, Skippy, get rid of the jar. <laughs> get rid of it. <laughs> Good. <Benny. laughs> I think we have my personal favourite person around next. Next up. Uh. Oh, something about me. Mm, no. <laughs> You're getting like Skippy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a great day for me. <laughs> this is a uh, former pro golfer who um, admits that uh, perhaps um, he had certain ways of performing when he, when he was uh, doing golf. He had a different method of doing things. Oh, where's this going? You'll understand. You calculated that um, you, you smoke up to 18,000 cigarettes a year, and that was calculation you had in your book just based on two to three Wait, packs of cigarettes, cigarettes a day. Um, yeah, I don't know if Let you're still smoking that much, but how long have you smoked? Maybe that looking at his attire, I'll give it away. That's probably 29 years. John um, Daly. I smoke oh, about wow, the same, really two packs, two, two and a half packs okay. a day. But at that time, I had started smoking that much. Before that, I was only smoking maybe a pack, pack, a pack and a half. Any desire to stop? I no. He's like fuck no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> so you've also calculated that you drink upwards of 515 gallons of diet coke a year, and that was based on drinking 15 cans of diet coke a day. And it, it might have. 15 cans a day. He eats McDonald's three or four times a day. I don't know because I don't drink water. This much still alive. I hate water. I think so. I cannot stand to drink water. You don't drink, don't drink water. water. At all. McDonald's, Taco, Taco Bell, all of them. I mean, what's quite, quite a bit. bit. Uh, I could. I, I used to be able to eat like two Big Macs, two or three cheeseburgers. <laughs> this is before he plays golf. So he has all this. He has 18,000 francs. What? No, no. He can find a bird. He's angry on a round. Well, the, the real interesting one is uh, while he was playing golf, um, he makes a confession. He said, uh, if I could on top of this bad diet. I'd win every week. Um, yeah. He says uh, he once said that um, if he could play drunk, um, he would win every week. Probably would. What a strange ethos. Do you like realistically believe if you were able to uh, drink, you know, when you were playing, you'd play better? It's amazing. Where I would go, I'd, wherever I set course records or whatever, I would be barefooted, drunk, <laughs> playing golf, making every twenty footer I looked. Okay. <laughs> He was drunk. Yeah, he was fucking going to ball. They didn't say much for the competition, did it? They're stone cold sober. And he fucking beat him. He was pissed. Yeah, he, he was, was drunk. He was pissed up beating other fucking... 
he was drunk. He turned up with no shoes. He'd eaten a McDonald's before he got there and yeah. had about, I don't know, three or four Diet Cokes as well. But he won a competition. Uh, and he, he won. He was <laughs> <laughs> shit off his I don't know. It, it's, <laughs> yeah, but couldn't that also be because you're drunk and just think you're playing better than you actually are? Well, no. When you're winning money from people playing pool, you you know you, pool, you, know, you're you know you're playing better. I mean, <laughs> your body's relaxed. That's what makes it even more incredible. Stood on top of the fucking pool table. Yeah. Not a bad way. Not a bad way. Um, I don't know. I'm not making an excuse to drink or anything sure. because, uh, but I when I had a good buzz going, I could play. I thought I could make everything play really good golf, and I think it's just because the body's so loose and. You know, it's like free, you know. How often would you play professional golf hungover uh, back in the day? A lot. and shot some really good numbers. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I wasn't drinking on tour, but there was some times uh, on tour that I didn't sober up. <laughs> You were basically drunk when, when you were playing. Yeah, yeah you get in at 7, 7.30 in the morning. I got a tee time at 8.05 or 9 o'clock, you know. You'd be out till Sometimes, 7 or yeah. 7.30 yeah. in the morning when you had an 8 a.m. tee time? Yeah. He would, yeah. He would be out until 7.30 in the morning yeah. um, and then the not morning. even go to sleep, still drunk. Sure. Go on a round of golf oh, and yeah. win. <laughs> what a star. How do you play? Fucking legend. You know, you're up to all out play. He has, has no idea how he does it. My buddy's there. We you know, how often would you play professional golf hungover uh, back in the day? A lot. I shot some really good numbers. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I wasn't drinking on tour, but there was some times uh, on tour that I didn't sober up to about the 13th hole, 13th or 14th hole. So uh, you were basically drunk w when you were playing? Yeah, you get in at 7, 7.30 in the morning. I got a tee time at 8.05 or 9 o'clock, you know. You'd be out till Sometimes, 7 or 7.30 yeah. Yeah. in the morning when you had an 8 a.m. tee time? Yeah. How, how do you? He'd he'd have thirty five yeah, beers, yeah, yeah. and he'd win. <laughs> That's what I say. Who's these fucking blokes he was playing against? Same works for them, doesn't it? What, what I love though is that there was fucking people. Was. There was people that like play had serious commitment. They were like training, 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 yeah, and then he he'd rock up at about eight o'clock, having been out on the piss all he night. <laughs> At McDonald's, uh, at about 35 beers, oh, and he'd cool. win. I want to check up golf. Fuck this. What a legend. Well, fucking like <laughs> I have man. never seen anything fucking like hell. it. I'm impressed. I know, man. and that, that is crazy, is isn't impressive. it? I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, 35 or 40? Easily in a day, yeah. And how, how do you feel at the end of 35 or 40 beers? Still start drinking some whiskey or something. I don't know. It feels like drinking whiskey. Yeah. But yeah. Um, oh, yeah, he used to drink that much at, um, before a tournament. How madness is that? Oh, it worked for him, crazy. didn't it? He, and he won. It worked, uh, it worked. So why change the fucking method if it works? I um Crazy. I couldn't get over that one. Um, on that note, I don't think you can go anywhere else from there. The fucking pub. Uh, yeah. around the golf. Yeah, I know, right? Fuck you. That's where uh, I'm going. So, yeah, we're going to call it a day for this yeah, week. Yeah, um, the pub and golf club, then. We'll yeah, uh, I'm going to try my uh, techniques at playing piss. I might do better. Uh, you know. Um, <laughs> so, uh, if yeah. you... Uh, we don't advocate for excessive drinking, by the way. No. no. Of course not. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you uh, like us, uh, you can follow us on uh, Facebook at all of these links below, uh, Golden Cup Productions. Uh, yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can find me at this link below. Uh, obviously subscribe as well, so you can keep up to date with what we're going on. And uh, we have a thing called Patreon. It's uh, a scheme where... Um, 
it uh, helps us make new content um, I'm looking to make short films and stuff like that and with your help we can get there and make more stuff yeah so um, if you want to follow me I'm off down the pub make sure you get there first yeah make fucking drinks <laughs> and uh, yeah he has no social links because yeah, he lives off no grid um, <laughs> so I can't really promote that but um, yeah uh, see us uh, not next week but the week after and Yes, in two weeks. So, yeah. So, bye.